Today we're going to talk about Cava, the sparkling wine from the Spanish region called Catalonia. So for sure you have heard in France Champagne, Italy there's Prosecco, and in Spain there's the sparkling wine called Cava. So what do all these famous sparkling wines have in common? Well, for sure one thing it's the method of production. The traditional method is composed by two fermentations. The first one is in the cask or tank and the second one occurs inside the bottle. It is during this second fermentation that the bubbles are actually produced. So the bottles must be kept temporarily with a crown cap to trap the CO2 created. Then the bottles are laid down in a cellar for nine months up to several years. And once this process is over, the yeast sediments left inside the bottle are then removed. Your cava is ready for drinking. And how about types of cava? Well, cava is usually a blend of three types of Spanish grapes. This wine can be divided in seven types according with the amount of sugar added during the second fermentation. So here you have from brute nature with almost no sugar to dulce or sweet that has more than 50 grams of sugar per liter, which is around 70 spoons of sugar. So pretty sweet. So at the London Wine Fair, I had the opportunity to talk a little bit with a producer of cava from Cofama Wines. I've met Pepe. So let's take a look on what the experts, the real experts, have to Joseph, say about cava. Um, cava, let's talk a little bit yeah, about cava. Let's talk about why cava. is it so good and why do so many people uh, experience cava and love cava? Yeah, actually, well, cava, it's from, it's the sparkling wine from Catalonia, right? Mm -hmm. So you can find a sparkling wine in France, in Italy, but cava is just from Catalonia. Um, why it's so good? Uh, I don't know. But um, it's the, the, the product, the region, right? The weather, it's a special one, right? It's not an, an, an acid product. Mm -hmm. You can find some other regions that are a bit acid, right? This kind of products. Mm -hmm. so, so it's smooth. And, and it, absolutely. When, it, when you, is it good to, where you should uh, drink cava? Any time, any time, any time is a good no, time to but, drink up. Actually, most of the people drinks it mm -hmm. for for the desert, uh -huh. but but before also time aperitif like yeah, an aperitif for the aperitif. Most of people now is trying to introduce mm -hmm. it because it's a, it's it combines with a lot of things. So it's not just focused with the sweet products. You know, you, you find that you can combine it with cheese, with jam, wow. with everything. Okay. You, have, you can you show the, the the most famous cava from your yes well actually this one won the great gold medal mm -hmm. last year in, in Brussels okay so right it's called uh, Larvos Lar 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 1919 right this is a brut cava mm -hmm. right a brut cava means that it has nine grams of sugar nine grams of sugar per okay. bottle right okay. and has a fermentation in bottle between eight and ten months can we try a little yeah, bit of sure. cava it's done with the, the typical grape, right? In a cup, it's mm -hmm. Macabeo, Charello, and Parallel. Okay, right? so a mix of three, of three, three types of, three of grapes. grapes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's a blend. Right? It's a young cover. It's really fruity. It's not acid. It is, it is, it is very sweet, very smooth. Absolutely, and it's not acid. But so this is one of your best sellers? Yes. 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 Well, and that's it. That's our segment for Cava Wines. Hope you have enjoyed it. So don't forget to subscribe to the channel and especially send us suggestions, ideas for upcoming segments, because after all, this is your channel. Take care.